Why hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea Silvestra and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to react to Ange Angelina Jordan, Now I'm the Fool. I know everyone has been wanting me to watch this. I've actually been um, in Japan for the whole summer, so I'm just now getting back and getting into the swing of filming videos. Everything was pre-recorded. I actually wanted to do a full video about my experience and I have vlogs that I'm still editing that are going to come out, so those are just like extra tidbits to know and keep in mind, but... Um, yeah, so I didn't get to watch this right when it came out, so I apologize for the little bit of the delay, but I'm excited to see it. If you want to check out my music, Andrea Silvestro, I'm going to be making and recording some songs in the next few months, and I already have something up there. And feel free to subscribe to my Patreon if you want to request something specific or you can always super chat me and I will be adding anything that you request into the onto my reaction list. I'm happy to be back and let's watch this. I'm excited for Angelina Jordan's debut EP and everything. What can I do when you tell me I deserve someone better than you? You ain't know how to break a heart in two. Never had a plan to fall for you. I don't understand. Don't have a clue. One look in your eyes now. Okay, before we get into this, um, it seems like she kind of is really following that Angelina Jordan brand, and she even has, the music videos are shot similarly, she has like the, you know, classic style mic and everything. I, I really like the direction of her style, I like how it's more jazzy, I like that it's not just causing her to be a pop sellout, I don't, I feel like she could do pop music, but I think that her voice just sounds so good in this kind of genre and um i think she's even coming into her own with her style and everything because i've she as she's getting older i feel like she's kind of been you know um finding her identity through her style and kind of has like a vision for what she wants to be presenting herself as like with this hairstyle and just the little black and white music video and it seems like she's even more and more more comfortable on camera not that she's never been, but I feel like she's kind of playing with the audience a little bit, like singing directly to us, which she's doing a really good job of. And I feel like overall, she just seems a lot more mature in this new era of her releasing her own music and her voice sounds like really refined and really mature as well. So I'm, it's like a proud moment to see my girl Angelina out here with her original music and I'm enjoying the direction, but we'll continue. I'm stuck hiding in the shade of you. Oh, even the power. I just haven't been saying that much about her voice because it just, it's like a lot to comment on when I'm seeing her, this version of her. Like, I feel she just feels so much more confident. I don't know if that is something that anyone else is picking up on, but she just seems a lot more confident, which is how she's singing everything. And it's very, she says, just, she just sounds very sure of herself and what she's singing. And I really feel like maybe it's just I haven't listened to her in so long, so I kind of forgot, but that's something I. Like, Even the rhythm, it's more like broken up, which I think fits with her style. Like, um, broken pieces that I lost, like something like that. Um, I feel like she just always has that classic Angelina Jordan flair that I really like. I love the way that she plays with her voice and how she even, um, uses her hands to kind of guide her voice as well. And it's kind of the visual representation of where her voice is going. I'm just really enjoying just the direction of her voice right now. Oh, continue. Counting all the broken pieces that I lost Now that you're gone <laughs> Yes, 
this. I feel like I think this was a good representation of what I've been trying to say. It's like she just is playing out the lyrics more, but it kind of just gives like this newfound confidence in her that I really love to watch. She's like, it seems like she's playing more with the lyrics and it might mean more because it's her personal songs, her own songs, but I feel like she's just being more playful with it. She, her expression is just really, really um, sincere and we love the bells as well. Gone. I see you, I feel you in everything that I do. Oh. Never had a plan too far for you. I don't understand, don't have a clue. Don't look in your eyes now as the fool. I know it's just another day in the world, but I'm still kiting in the shade of your words. You protected me from all the pain, but I learned that I was just a mistake. You told me I wasted time on loving you. I, she's absolutely killing this. I love the instrumentation behind her as well. I feel like it's very minimal, but I really like the guitars. I always love that her tracks include actual instruments because I feel like electronic instruments have their place for sure. But I just really love like the jazzy tone, the guitars, like the actual instruments used in this song. And I love how they're more minimal and allowing her to be the forefront of the song because she, her voice is just so smooth and I find myself losing myself in the song the more I listen to it and it's just very and easy on the ears and then also her voice kind of cuts through the mix which I appreciate and I feel like she's definitely the focus but I definitely feel like the instrumentation behind her is very atmospheric and I'm really enjoying it it's it's very smooth I enjoy um let's continue i really like this original music direction for her i think that she's really growing into her sound as an artist and i think that's great and i just caught and let you know it hurts uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yay. i love her runs they're so good because they seem just so natural for her it doesn't seem like it's thrown in there it just seems so improvised but in a very natural and sophisticated way which I do love every time that I listen to her like she always just has like a way about creating these um vocal arrangements that just sound so nice and pleasing to the ear it also has to do with just her tone being great and just her voice being so stellar but yeah I think that's something that's really important about her is her ability to improvise and kind of make things sound really natural it so clean and then the way she came out of that like really delicately ha, 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 ha. so good it's just such a good transition like she's so good at transitioning out of her belt into just to make a softer moment or just ending the phrase like she's just so a uh, world-class singer as we know and it's apparent even with her like originals that she has just a very clear image of what she wants her voice to sound like and i just love this direction like even the way she just kind of uh blends into that moment Let you know. that breathy and then kind of more legato smooth connected slowed down version of it so pretty way to transition out of the song
class act. She's so good. I just wanted to go back because I love the way she ended this. It was just so pretty. And there was nothing crazy about this song. Like, there was no big, big, big vocal moment. But I think that she doesn't need those because I think she just has such a special tone. And I just love how chilled out this track is while also showcasing her power, but in a way that doesn't distract or doesn't seem out of place. So I just love the tastefulness of this song. Um, I could definitely see myself listening to it outside of this, but I just love how she kind of went into that moment where she hit those notes and then she kind of started going more into the breathy, breathy in her head part of her voice because first off, I think it does a great job of kind of bringing us to the end of the song slowly, but then I feel like it's just a great... I don't know, I feel like it'd be a lot to transition out of the song if she was just kind of repeating that same, like, belt moment, but I think that it adds, like, a different layer to it, having her end on a more, like, fragile and delicate position, but... I just love this, like, my soul. It's just so good. I love how she attacks these kinds of phrases. They're just so good. So good. She brings just the delicate and the power blended perfectly together in a way that I think just sounds so good. Oh my goodness. Guys, it's been a long time. I feel like my brain, brain is fried because I'm just experiencing Angelina for the first time in like two and a half months. But yeah, let's continue. so good yeah and you can tell that this song is all about her because she's the only person in the video as well it's just like all the instruments behind her and then her black and white with a full spotlight on her so you know that she's a star i feel like she i like the direction her original music is going i think it sounds very good for her voice it's very tasteful it's jazzy it's smooth um it allows her to show her power but also show her really beautiful falsetto as well overall great i think it was a good song i kind of want to listen to it again and when i'm not on camera because so i can fully immerse myself but i like the direction she's going i would love to listen to more um let me know what other songs i should react from to from her ep and i'll see you guys in the next video and this city's never had something for me as you know from all of my stories